You know what? I'm going to start this show off with a top five list. Oh, oh, already? That's right. Oh, we got you. It's guest of Palooza, right? It is guest of Palooza. Uh, but uh, I, it, it is a tradition that we conduct here every year. We kick off NFL kickoff week with my top storylines of the 2024 Ooh. season, and I've been cultivating this caper like the Lufthansa heist over the last six months. Ever since we started this uh, machine and turning it back on again with free agency and then, of course, the combine and the draft and all of that business all the way through to training camps. And even still, some of these storylines are playing out before kickoff, depending on who signs and who does not. But these are season-long storylines, and I try to make them as broad as possible because there are 32 fan bases that say I've got one particular team that I'm keen in and on and and what the storyline is but here we go the top five storylines of the 2024 National Football League season hit it here we go high five one two three four five Rich's top five all right here we go are you ready the top five storylines of the 2024 National Football League season that begins on Thursday night in Kansas City. Number five on this list, is there a savior in the rookie quarterback class in 2024? Yay or nay? Is Caleb Williams finally the guy that Chicago has been waiting for? Is Jaden Daniels the guy that will lead the commanders into a whole new world with a new ownership group and a new stadium around the corner? Is Jaden Daniels the guy? Will we see a significant amount of Drake May this season? Will he prove to clearly be the guy? And what about Bo Nix, who's starting in Denver? Can he be the sneaky quarterback savior that a lot of folks in Denver are hoping he can at least bring some stability and some playoff confidence for Sean Payton's team and is Michael Penix going to get any run obviously we know J.J. McCarthy is out for the season but will we see somebody step to the fore in a way the 2021 draft class certainly has really yet to we know Trevor Lawrence is still with his team everybody else is spread out all over the map number five is there a savior in the rookie quarterback class that will be a season-long storyline arc number four i'm going to drill down on just one team and one quarterback in particular guy was on a career path to the hall of fame right from jump self-made man Made the most of his first opportunity busted the door down and put a lombardi trophy in the pacific northwest Russell Wilson's last stand is storyline number four of my top five storylines for the 2024 season. What's going to go down for him? What opportunity is in front of him to no today, idea. week one against the Atlanta Falcons? What opportunity is sitting there and how long will he be able to stay the starting quarterback? Or will that just not even be a question? He'll just come out and he'll look like the Russ of old and, and the Russ that cooked now we'll have a new hashtag let Russ smelt <laughs> in it, Pittsburgh PA possible, man. I understand this is a division chock full of storylines with the Ravens can they be a one seed again Lamar how will he defend his MVP championship Joe Burrow coming back from an injury Deshaun Watson can he return to elite status but Russell Wilson's last stand for the Pittsburgh Steelers and Mike Tomlin placing a very Stout defensive led team in his hands with a new offensive coordinator is definitely a season long black and gold. Nine Here we go for me. Number three went back and forth on this one because the Lions to me are a terrific storyline to look at the entire season in the roar restoration project that damn near had that team in the Super Bowl last season and Brad Holmes, the general manager of the Lions, saying last week the goal is to win a Super Bowl. How many times have you seen a Lions general manager say that out (laughs) loud with a straight face and mean it and everybody can believe it? And I understand the Eagles getting new coordinators and what they can do to get back to the Super Bowl are of interest. But I'm going to go here. What will the Niners do in their last ride with an affordable Brock Purdy? 
paying everybody. Trent Williams is making his way to San Francisco in time for the opener against the Jets, for which Brandon Ayuk has already been in the fold for almost an entire week. Purdy, this will be his last year as being known as Mr. Irrelevant because he will be Mr. Relevant with a contract that most likely starts annually with a six and a ton of zeros after it. And he can look around the locker room and the Niners can look around the locker room and wonder, are we going to be able to keep this team together? Although, believe it or not, they have currently a league best $50 million in cap room right now for this year. But that said, they are well positioned, I think, to play deep into the future for their window of opportunity here. But Purdy making as much money as he's going to make in the coming years, how are they going to be able to keep everyone together? That's number three. And to see how they play all season long. Number two, though, I'm drilling down on one team, and you know it. It's interesting. The Niners re-signing, you know, uh, or extending extending, McCaff, Mc, uh, uh, extending McCaffrey and extending Ayuk and extending Trent Williams and paying these guys. Technically, they're also going all in with their current roster. But we're only talking about one team going all in. Number two storyline, season-long storyline for 2024. The Dallas Cowboys all-in season. <laughs> I think it's self-explanatory. Every game. Every game. And even if they do re-sign Dak before the season, every game will be having a boiling pot, hoping to place a lid on it for January in a win-or-go-home situation. The Dallas Cowboys, all in season, the, the way that they have a, approached this season, based on the way last season ended, the way they have reacted to being one and done by a young Packers team, 100% has a ripple effect in the 2024 pond that will keep on rippling. With their coach not signed past this season, and Dak, as of presently, not signed past this season, no quarterback signed past this season. That's number two. Number one is clear. I think everybody knows it. The top season-long storyline of the 2024 NFL season is the Chiefs' three-peat attempt. Only eight teams have attempted it beforehand. Three teams have made it as far as the championship game. The Steelers in the 70s. The Niners made it as far as the NFC championship game with George Seifert. And then we also know... Uh, another championship game appearance occurred uh, previously in this run as well. Two teams didn't even make the playoffs. How far will the Chiefs go? That is the question. And is it possible that we see the first ever three-peat in the history of the National Football League? Those are the top five season-long storylines. Do you think we need one more? Sure. All right, we'll get one more. And I'll drill down on one other team here too. And this has nothing to do with me. Please understand this has nothing to do with me. This really has zero to do with me. <laughs> but the Aaron Rodgers mulligan season. Yeah, I was shocked it didn't make your initial five. I, Because I, 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 I think the other five are, are, you know, significant enough. And still, again, this is, this is still a, a New York story in many ways, I think. But Rodgers is as internationally known as there is. But the Jets are better, guys now than they were last year entering the season the offensive line is a totally different beast i think defensively they are better and hey listen you could sit here and say he was trying to make it back last season and he was doing things that you know 39 year old humans with a repaired achilles shouldn't be doing even if thinking about attempting a comeback last season so you assumed he would make it this season He's still a 40-year-old guy with a repaired Achilles who hasn't played more than just five snaps in a year and a half. And the fact that the Jets get a mulligan season with Aaron Rodgers was not a given last year. They get one. What do they do with it? With a Bills team that does appear to be ready to be plucked from the top of this division. The Dolphins look terrific. Um, as you all know, last week we predicted the AFC East and... I think we all said the Dolphins are going to win it. Didn't we say that? Yeah. All of us? I think we all have the same. So, 
But what are the Jets going to do in their Aaron Rodgers mulligan season? And we're going to see him on a Monday night. We're seeing him on a Thursday night, week three. We're seeing him on a Sunday night against Pittsburgh. Once again, the NFL is putting them front and center. And those are my top storylines for the 2024 NFL season. Season long, beginning to end. Let's go, man. We're here. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.